In this video, we're going to take a look at the reading settings in WordPress. It's just underneath settings and then right here where it says reading. Now, a lot of new people to WordPress uh, are not familiar with these different settings and especially the reading settings because this is a settings panel that everyone's going to need to go into. So when you set up your WordPress website, you have to tell WordPress which page that you've already created is going to be the home page and what the home page means is when someone visits your site it's the first page someone sees okay that's your home page but you also have to tell wordpress what page is your blog page and you don't have to have a blog page you don't even have to use the blog functions of wordpress but if you are you have to create a blog page and you can just create a page and name it blogged blog or news or updates or whatever you want but then you have to go into WordPress itself and tell it that this is where I want you to list out all of my blog posts and then when someone's on that page they can actually click into the posts and you do that right here so by default WordPress is set to just show your latest posts but what you need to do is you need to come in here click on this checkbox or this radio box right here and you can change the page for the front page this would be your home page and your blog page where all your blog posts are going to be listed and that's your post page you'd want to choose those here and these drop downs are only going to show pages that you've created okay and then right here it says blog pages to show at most and what this is is when you go on that blog index page how many posts is it going to show in a list before it says go to page two and go to page three go to page four so by default it shows 10 which is actually kind of a high number you might want to reduce this to maybe six or five but by default it's 10 now this next option says syndication feed and what this is you might not realize it but WordPress has something built into it that allows the posts that you create to be uh, fed into what's called an RSS feed reader and it's a little advanced um, there's RSS feed readers one of the most popular web based one is called Feedly and I actually use Feedly personally um, but this is more of an, of an advanced thing but this is saying if someone's connecting your website into an RSS reader like Feedly how many posts do show them when they first connect in and then right here is the setting do you want them to see the full post or a summary now most people click on summary because if you have it on full text what this means is someone can read your blog content without visiting your blog if you have it set to summary it's only going to show them a summary of your blog post and then to read the remainder they need to head on over to your blog this next uh, setting is kind of important uh, and it says search engine visibility and what this means is if you have this checked you're telling Google when it comes to your site don't include my website on your search engine results so when someone types something in don't show any of the pages or posts or the content on my website if this box is checked then that's what it's telling Google now Google doesn't have to listen to that it will it doesn't have to obey it it can still search your website for all the content and show that to people and some of the other web browsers will probably or sorry the other search engines will most likely do whatever the heck they want to do but Google I do know will not show your website if you have this box checked so you can get into actually a lot of trouble if you want your website to be found on Google and you accidentally have this checked it's not a good thing it's not a good thing at all I think once when I was new to WordPress I did a website for someone and I I delivered the website I loaded it up on their domain name and I accidentally left this checked and three months later I got an email hey I can't find my website on Google and and I logged in and sure enough I, f I forgot to uncheck this so by default this will be unchecked 
when you install WordPress and it's probably good to uh, keep that there. However, if you were working on a development version of your site, so you're, you're working on it in this location with the intent of moving it to the permanent location, always have this checked when you're developing, but when you move it, you gotta make sure you have it unchecked if you want the site found on Google. So anyways, these are the reader, the, sorry, the reading settings. Well, that's it for today's video. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it in the comment section down below. Please also give me a thumbs up on YouTube. That really helps me out. And if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. That also helps me out. Now, I don't want you to ever leave empty handed. And that's why I put together a free video course just for my subscribers called the three steps to WordPress success. Now, if you would like free access to that course, course, just go ahead and click right here on the right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.